Lisa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna share with you some tips on flying with a baby. Hi, Phoebe. I have done this several times. With Rose, I traveled when she was about eight weeks old for a friend's wedding. With James, I traveled alone uh, for some work opportunities. Um, and so I've got some tips and tricks that I've definitely learned. Like it's, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a go <laughs> to travel, especially if you're traveling alone. Today I am traveling with my husband. So you're gonna see him holding the camera, but I have traveled alone and honestly, a lot of the tips apply. Um, it just obviously makes it a little bit easier when you have a second pair of hands, especially when they're a handsome second <laughs> pair of hands. And stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you my essential packing tips that you definitely need if you're gonna be traveling with a baby. Hi, Phoebe. We gotta get you from there into here. Hey. I personally like to do the car seat separate from the stroller because I just like the flexibility that that gives me. Um, and so we have a little bit of a hack when, especially if I'm traveling alone, to make it easier um, to transport the car seat and your stroller. Some airlines make it really simple. They have different lines that allow you to skip some of the crowds. And honestly, I just find that oftentimes the staff at these major airlines are super helpful and accommodating when you're traveling with a baby. I always like to check the car seat and things like car seats are free uh, for most airlines. Um, when you're traveling with a baby. So I've never had to request the plastic bag. They've always just given it to me and it keeps the car seat nice and protected and clean. And it's just really helpful because carting around the car seat in an airport can be kind of difficult. Now I will explain why later, but it is so important to request a second plastic bag when you check in. So when I travel, I actually like to wear a blazer because then it doesn't get crumpled in my suitcase. But why I really like it is because with deep pockets, I can keep things like the boarding pass like very much at hand. Other things in my pockets, let me show you. So I keep cell phone charger close at hand. And then I keep headphones with the adapter. Like this part's really important. This little like thing in the lobber. So this one goes into my phone, but then you have the adapter to go into the headset at the, on the airplane. What else is here? Lip gloss, essential. And then my very favorite essential oils so that when I'm feeling either anxious or like I need a bit of a emotional lift, I have it on the airplane. One thing that's kind of fun when you travel with baby is we get to go in the family lane for So we've just cleared security. A couple things about security. Security can be stressful. So if you're traveling with a baby, just expect it to be a little bit, you know, chaotic. So a couple things that I do to make going through security a little bit easier. Number one, wear shoes that you can like slip on and off easily. So these have no um, like backs or anything. Um, so that's really helpful. Wear an outfit that is easy. So for example, maybe don't wear a belt um wear like a jacket or a sweater that's easy to take on and off and you're not really like fumbling and then i have been through um security with a baby several times sometimes they ask you to put the stroller down and then put it on the uh, belt other times they just let you walk through um, the metal detector with the stroller so it kind of depends um, and so it can be a little bit, you know, challenging when you've got the baby um, and you're trying to put a stroller down. But what I have found in the past is that people are super helpful. So I've given the baby to somebody else or I've asked somebody else to fold the stroller. And then of course, I always bring a soft baby carrier um, because then you can always strap the baby to you, put the stroller down. Um, you really just have to kind of like take a deep breath, <laughs> you know, and just kind of breathe through the experience, but you know, we were through it in about 10 minutes, so now we're gonna go find some breakfast. Right? 
Okay, another super important hack that I've learned from experience, let me tell you, is to make sure, <laughs> find your gate first and then go to breakfast because I cannot tell you how many times I've sat down and then been like, la 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 la, oh my gosh, we're boarding. So I always like to find the gate first and then find something close by. We're getting onto the airplane and getting the stroller checked at the gate. I will strap the baby to me. I took my blazer off because I was feeling kind of hot, but I keep it slung over my arm so that I can have all of the necessities that I had in my pockets close at hand. I will also make sure I have a credit card, that's really important, in my blazer pocket so that if I want to buy something, if I get hungry on the airplane, I'm not having to like go into my purse underneath the seat and all that. It just makes it a little bit easier. And then I always get an extra plastic bag. Experience has shown me that even if you put the stroller in one piece <laughs> under the um, airplane at gate check, we've had pieces gotten lost, like the, the hood canopy, um, we've had stuff get broken, and so I always wrap it up real good inside a plastic bag. Okay, so we're in our seats. I like to sit at the back of the airplane because I find that if I'm going to gate check my stroller, it takes a while to get it out anyways. And so I'm kind of waiting. I'd rather wait like in my seat as well as you're closer to the bathrooms and you're closer to the flight staff if you need anything. Um, okay, so a couple things. When I get to my seat, I have the baby carrier on and that's when I'll put my own seat belt on. You're not supposed to um, have the baby strapped to you when you're, <laughs> she keeps turning around to try to see herself. <laughs> you're not supposed to have the baby strapped to you when you take off. <laughs> Look at this girl. <laughs> so I will um, keep the baby strapped to me while I fasten my own seatbelt and then only unbuckle the top because when you're alone, it's just so much easier to keep the, the, the belt part <laughs> on so that you're not really, um, you know, worried about where you're gonna put the baby when you're buckling in um, the, um, the carrier. I also, this might be too much information, but like this is also how I go to the bathroom when I'm traveling alone with a baby. I will just keep her strapped to me and go to the bathroom and literally have her strapped to me, right? Right? Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Are you my little traveler? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I find that the flight staff is so helpful when you're traveling with a baby and if they can find you an empty seat they will find you one so you can put the baby beside you it's so helpful it gives you your arms a little bit of a break I'm actually very picky with which airline I select because of the space some of the less expensive or budget carriers there is just not a lot of space in between the seat in front of you and your seat. So when you're traveling with a baby, these few inches really matter. I personally don't bring that many toys because to me it's just another thing to lose. And I just find there's random things that you can occupy a baby with on an airplane. So we made it off the airplane. The stroller arrived in one piece, nice and dry and clean thanks to the plastic bag. And now we're off. Those are my tips for how to travel with a nine month old on an airplane. Um, I hope they were helpful. And honestly, I just think that, don't be afraid, just try it. If you like this video, I'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up and hit that bell and subscribe button. And until next time, cheers to designing your beautiful life.